Hi everyone, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up the freely available um, JavaScript Triangle Arbitrage Bot. Um, when I first started running it, I wasn't quite sure the directions aren't so precise on how to set it up, so I thought I'd make a video tutorial on how to do it. Um, this is freely available off GitHub. I'll leave the GitHub repository link down below. Um, by using this, well first I should go on what it does. It does triangle arbitrage between um, decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges like Uniswap, um, PancakeSwap, and um, ApeSwap, and, and it does a multi. It depends on which um, currency you choose, on which um, exchanges it uses. So for Ethereum, you use um, Uniswap, One Inch, um, ApeSwap. But if you pick, I think I, I think you can also pick. I I've only tested on Ethereum, so if you choose to try it on BNB and Polygon, I'm not quite sure what it uses. You can always ask the person who made it on the GitHub repository if you want to. Um, but by using this and having it run for about a month, I've more than a thousand times in my Ethereum, so it seems to be working pretty good for me. And the best part, it's free. So after you download the zip file off of GitHub, unzip it. I just unzipped it right here on my desktop, so it's nice and easy to find. And you have these files here. Basically, all you need to go to to configure it is just the config file. And these are the settings you have to fill in. You fill in your public Ethereum address right here. The private key to this public Ethereum address, the one you put in right there. Those two have to match. That has to be the private key to that public Ethereum address. Now, if you have a wallet that does not get easy access to your private key, like a hardware wallet, you can put in your wallet seed right here. But you also need to make sure, let me make sure you provide your Ethereum public address. So still put the public address you want um, the program to utilize from that wallet seed and network so network default is one and that's what i did buying on was ethereum but two you can use bnb or if you change that to three or use the polygon network max spend this is defaulted at um, 0 0.5 um, that's the maximum amount the program will use from your wallet now keep in mind you have to have this amount inside your public address they provided, or you will get an error. I found that out first running it. Now you can turn that down, but um, if you turn down too much, um, you just keep running, but never find an arbitrage that can match that small amount. That'll be profitable. Um, now the the program will only trigger if it's profitable. It'll only make a trade if it's going to be profitable. Otherwise, it won't. It won't make a trade. So yeah, so I started off with, I, I just left it at the, I ended up in, living at the 0 0.5, it works really good then. Um, I did end up turning it up for, but for the video I'm going to leave it at that, because that's the default and it does work at the default. Um, uh, what I've noticed, the higher you have the max spin, the more profit you're going to make. Or the more, I, I mean percentage wise it might be the, pretty much the same, but you're going to make the profit faster. I guess, I guess that's how you'd say it. You're going to make the profit faster if you turn up the max spend. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to actually enter my settings real quick. Okay, so I entered my public address and my private key. And I saved it. You want to make sure you save it. Not much good if you don't save it. Then I'm going to go over to index HTML. That's how easy this is right click go to open with and you could basically use any kind of modern web browser um, I did all my testing on Firefox so, so actually I'm, let's go ahead and try I've, I've never actually tried on Inner Explorer let's go and try and see what happens when we run on Inner Explorer I've actually never ran. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see if it works on your next floor. 
This is, I think, is the first time I ran an Explorer. Or I guess it's Microsoft Edge now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Running on my so um, once it loads up, we're gonna hit run bot. I don't know how this is going to run in here. Oh, it's just running. Okay. You can see a live experiment test on Inner Explorer. <laughs> or, I guess it's no longer. It's Microsoft Edge. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. We just found an arbitrage. Let's go ahead and... Stop it for a second and we'll look and see. That is awesome. That's really fast. Yeah, so this will just do it all day long and you'll pop, get these popped up. Arbitrage found. And you see, when I first started off, this was like 15, 8 something. And we had that, or it was 15, 9, 8 or something, and this was added on to it. So we have arbitrage found between these tokens here. And we made an estimated profit of um, 1.5% after fees. 100% successful. We actually made better profit. That was the estimated profit was 1.5. We actually made 1.76% profit, matter of seconds, off our 0.5 um, max spend we had. And this is how much Ethereum we made. And then after it does that, it just... I, I stopped the bot, but then it would it would just go back to looking for more arbitrage and adding to my wallet balance. That's, well, when I first started, I literally had a wallet balance. I had the max spend. Well, once I finally figured out how to trim the max spend and have the, the amount in my wallet, um, I want to say I started off with about 0.75 in that area, and this has been a little bit over a month. And I'm at like 15.99 Ethereum. So yeah, it's it's amazing. You just keep it running. And you just pile in the profit. I think I've covered anything. It's super easy to set up. It, now we just figure out it worked on um, Internet Explorer too. Um... I think that's it. Anytime you have a transaction, it saves in the transaction um, file there. I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and please give me a thumbs up, and um, hopefully this helps you make tons of profit. It has for me, and I'm sure it will for you too. Thank you. And GitHub link is in the description.